Bar rescues the most reckless owners and employees. Is this shirt too light for the white background? Oh no. Guys, look at this. This is a medium. It's way oversized, but look at this, this is medium. I'm like really into oversized things right now because look at this. It makes me look so skinny. Oh, this medium is so big. So big on me because I'm so skinny. I'm a little drunk. <laughs> I'm a little drunk because you know what? You know what? I'm a 31 year old depressed man. I make depression look hot. <laughs> I got a little bit of bad news today. I was up for a fun project TV thing that you know I was really excited for. And I found out today that you know what? I didn't get it. And you know what? That's fine. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Do I look like I give a fuck? Because I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I'm great. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you guys what it was, of course, but all I will say is that I was pumped. I was very pumped. You don't want to get pumped? Apparently they didn't. Apparently this globally disgraced bartender is too globally disgraced because they want fresh faces. And my ass ain't fresh anymore. It's used. It's old. It's old news. My butt is old news. <laughs> my 15 minutes. <laughs> They're up. I mean, it's been five years. But I'm a 15 minutes. Oh, I didn't get on a TV show. What will I do? Because, you know, I've been on several reality shows and everyone knows me from that. Yeah, everyone knows me from my reality TV career. Uh, you guys tell me all the time how you watch every single part. But you know what? Let me tell you something. I'm here being skinny as fuck. And I woke up this morning. I went to the gym. I walked down Sunset Boulevard. I got myself a protein shake. And I came home and had a few cocktails. Got a little drunk. And get to do my job, which is sit here, get drunk, bitch, and complain to entertain the people. So what the fuck am I complaining about? That I don't get to get traumatized and cry to you guys about something you don't watch for another nine months. Like what? It could be worse. My life could be worse. And what else am I gonna do when I'm drunk? And you know what? Feel really petty. Let's react to fucking bar rescue shit. Because that's what I do. I'm no longer a bartender. I did my time, and now I sit here and tell you guys about my experience. I was asked about my bartending career. They're like, how, how, how's your bartending career going? I'm like, I don't really bartend anymore. I'm like, a YouTube bartender that doesn't actually bartend, they just complain. So you know what? It makes sense, okay? It makes sense. As a bartender who's known for getting a little bit, a little bit reckless, I've been a little bit reckless, okay? Got naked, put things in my ass on TV while bartending. Normally that gets me tipped, but whatever. I've been fired before, and I've told you guys about other things I didn't get fired for that I probably should have. So l let's see. Let's see what these people, how reckless they were. Am I going to empathize with them, or am I going to roast them? Who knows? Who knows? This is one of those days where I was left alone to my own devices. Today we're gonna be drinking this bottle called Von Pain. So you know, <laughs> numb the pain, fuck the pain away, drink the pain away, anything except therapy, you know, which will actually get rid of the pain. But this is fine, it's fine, here we go. Be sure to subscribe and make videos every Tuesday and Thursday, but sometimes I'm late just like your mom. This video is probably gonna be late because I'm probably gonna be hungover. Let's get into this motherfucking video, bitch. Mm. It comes out of the gargoyle's mouth. Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's fun. That's so much fun. I love vices that are fun. That don't put me in mental hospitals anymore. That's why we drink out of, in our mouths instead of putting things up other places. But yeah, here we go. Two days ago, I had a company come in here called eConnect. It's a video system that taps into the cash register. And it shows everything that every person does in this room. And when I looked at the tapes, I saw one of two things. I would have been screwed. I would have been so screwed. <laughs> I would have been drinking when I wasn't supposed to be. They would have caught me cursing out all the managers. <laughs> I actually ran into some managers from the Abbey the other day. They were like, where do you bartend nowadays? I'm like, I don't bartend anywhere. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, I mean, I make YouTube videos about bartending. They're like, yeah, but what do you do for a job? I'm like, yeah, I do that for a job. And they're like, you live off that? And I'm like, yeah, I make more than I ever made here on a Friday night or during Pride, stupid bitches. Thank you so much for buying me, stupid bitches. I either saw them stealing. You know what? Or I saw such a lack of accounting controls. Ridiculous. That it's disrespectful to you. I don't steal. I don't. Really? I hope you're not In talking about me right years. now. I'll talk about whoever the hell I wanted. Pause. I want proof. I'm, this is personal for me because I was actually fired. 
because they said I was stealing and I wasn't. I wasn't stealing. I asked the manager. I told you guys the story so many times. I was tipped a total of like almost three, four hundred dollars. And I asked the manager if I could give away a free shot. So I gave away a free shot, but I didn't specify what the free shot was because that was not a rule anywhere ever. You, can I buy this person a drink? Yes. Okay. Give them whatever they want. And I did. When you, I never had to specify. So I want to make sure that they're actually stealing because like an accusation like that on TV is a big, is a big move. It's a big move. They tried to make me a sexual predator on Lohan and said I got naked in front of children, which is very triggering for me on a global TV show. I yelled at my best friend Reese and she was very articulate with her words and said it's very, you know, brave of you to verbally assault a black trans woman. The I just called her a bitch because she was being a bitch and she said verbally assault. So now I'm racist and transphobic and a sexual predator. Why do I want to go back on TV? I don't understand. Just sit there and be quiet or read. Him. Okay. I have never stolen anything. Watch this, Justin. He's stolen my heart. Look at that little meatball. I'm going to sit on his face. <laughs> Puts money in a drawer, counts out change, takes change out, gives it to the customers, and any money that they put in the drawer that they didn't ring winds up in their pocket. That Okay, mama, I want to stay out for you, but they done got you, girl. And listen, I'm not I'm not yelling at you because I used to do that in high school at a local lit. The statute of limitations have passed. Yes, I used to do this at a local lake. I would just be selling their shit, taking the money and not bring it up, put it right in my pocket. <laughs> I was in high school. I needed to buy cigarettes and drugs. <laughs> People be speculating about YouTube. They're going to have fun with me. They're gonna have fun. The T channels? I can't wait till the T channel comes out. But you hear about Mike? He was caught once upon a time doing drugs in a very sexual scandalous situation. Yes! <laughs> yes! And all the everyone who watches my video is gonna be like, yeah, dude, we've been new. Like, what? But you know what? We don't do that anymore. We have learned and fixed the problem. And you know what that is? Growth. We don't go outside and make mistakes anymore. We do that right here. You can talk and talk and talk. I don't steal. I got it on video. Really? Watch this. Drawer opens, no sale, money, right in their pocket, and walk away. Either you guys know exactly what you're doing and you're stealing, or you're so ignorant that you have no systems. See, my problem is that, listen, I'm all for a good theft. I'm all about, good, I'm all about crime. Go ahead, work. I'll go, I'm Sicilian, okay? I'll cover up for you. I'll hide the body. But when you're that stupid, like if you're going to do it, maybe don't do it when you're filming a reality show. <laughs> maybe don't steal when the cameras are being taken and the footage is being used to promote a reality show. Maybe then we'd be like, hey, let's not do like our thing to like make sure we don't get fucked. I'm not mad at you because you did it. I'm mad at you because you were stupid enough to get caught. Those are actually words my father told me before when I was growing up. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. I have never seen tips kept in the cash drawer with the bar's money. So there's no accountability. That would be, I mean, that you can do that, but it's very confusing because at the end of the day, you have to give back the bank and total sales. So you can basically separate your tips in the drawer. That's just going to confuse you at the end of the night when you're counting out your money. So maybe that is their system. I'm going to try to give them the benefit of the doubt. I can understand where John's coming from because it looks like they're stealing. They're most likely stealing, but like, I'm gonna try to cover it up because this is silly and I'm a little fucked up and drunk. So like, where are we going? You wanna go to, Mexico's like three hours away. I'm fun. I don't care what anybody says. Don't come from, don't come to, don't come to me to ask me how to fix your shit. You need to, you need to get out, you need somebody to lie? You need somebody to lie on stand? I got you. <laughs> Fuck. I wanna kiss you. I wanna kiss you. Ooh, you could throw up in my mouth and it gets me drunk. Let's do it. <laughs> That's like the fourth, fourth best thing that someone's ever spit in my mouth. Here's the way bartenders steal. Let's say I sell you $20 worth of drinks. You give me $20, I go to the register, I get no sale, put the 20 in the drawer, the drawer now owes me $20, doesn't it? Now there's money in the drawer that's unaccounted for. At the end of the night, they take that money out and put it in their pocket. Shh. You know what? Pay us a livable wage. Pay us a livable wage. And then this is what happened. America, give me healthcare. 
Please. This family has no accounting systems. When I see what's going on here with the co-mingling between tips and cash register funds, it's either theft or incredibly foolish. It's 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 it's, it's like money laundering for baby. <laughs> it's I'm learning a skill. Booze already poured like five ounces, six ounces on that first glass of booze, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that. There's no pour in that pot. Look at that. So let's say that guy gets back in his car tonight. Isn't that bartender responsible? <laughs> first of all, first of all, it's a plastic bottle in a plastic bag. Mama, I... Depression. Depression, okay? Make it look hot! Also, why is he allowed to sit at the bar with a handle? <laughs> Where is that allowed? How did he get in the bar with a handle in a plastic see-through bag? But also, side note, he is absolutely right. You don't only have to watch out for how drunk somebody is when you're serving them because, you know, of their safety, which, hey, you, did that. you obviously should. But also, if they leave that bar, and they get in an accident. You as the bartender are legally responsible and can be sued. If you're having a party at your house and people get too drunk at your house and leave and get all fucked up, you can be sued. It's not just bars, it's on personal property also. This is all things I learned. This is all things I was aware of. This is something that I think that's very important for everybody in any alcohol industry to know because you're gonna get sued! Unless you make your name an LLC so that if anybody sues you, then your name, which ends up being a business, gets sued instead of you personally. Just a thought. The prize winner here is you can go in here and get a booby show for five bucks. You wanna see some taste? <laughs> oh, there we go! Wow, there they are. She's coming for my get. <laughs> She just took her tits out and I didn't see anybody even bring out a dollar. Honey, you gotta love yourself. You gotta respect. Mama, you gotta be a whore, not a slut. Okay, whores get paid. I respect you. You gotta respect you. Those titties are nice. Don't whip them out for free. How much is a hamburger? You can get a burger in here for so about five. You walk in the door with five bucks. Is he gonna go for the burgers? Is he gonna go for the boobs? Go for the boobs. So the bar loses the money, the bartender gets the money. So what about burger and boobs? With every burger, you get a free set of boobs. He's gonna pour drinks for people. 20 feet behind him is Tracy. Oh, oh that's shot of cream. Uh, yes, please. So you're, would you like a shot of cream or a vodka? How does this man sit there with his life on the line? Gina is playing darts. Just tell me when. It's your set. Well, you tell me when. <laughs> He's not paying attention. There's no management in this business. So wait, they're just pouring shots for everybody else in the bar, and the, the bar's like work. <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead, take our take our jobs, take our money. Who? How did they get in there with a handle? How did they get in there with a handle in a plastic bag? How did this happen? So right now, I've been counting. These guys have poured about seventy ounces of liquor in that bar between themselves and everybody else. Pause. Se hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Seventy ounces. Okay, math. I'm gonna say a good stiff drink, four ounces in that bitch. You know, let's be generous. Let's say four ounces in that bitch. A good stiff drink. And a well drink in over here in West Hollywood, you're looking at like 11 bucks minimum. Like, bait, like that's the lowest it's gonna go for a cocktail. 70 divided by four is 17.5 times 11, because that's just say it's all disgusting shit, which it is. It's in a plastic bottle. It's 192 <laughs> At five dollars a drink, that's three hundred and fifty dollars in lost sales. Right. I have found the bar model. Where the fuck did my math go? <laughs> Wait, how are they? Is the drink not supposed to be four ounces? Whoops. Hold on. Hold on. Where the three hundred? What? I don't know where I went wrong with the math, but I don't care right now. I, I tried. I. Tr regardless, regardless, it's a lot of money. I'm not a fucking esthetician. I don't know math. Don't come for me. Where the fuck did I get that number? <laughs> I thought I was doing a smart. I thought I was fucking flexing so hard. I pulled, I pulled out my calculator and I said, look at this, look at this calculation. And then I don't know, we did not get the same number. <laughs> I was watching her work tonight and I saw your little $5 boob thing. Mm -hmm. I've got to tell you, you know, boobs are a billion dollar business. Here's a problem. Tell her bitch, $5 little titties bitch, you're gonna get at least 20, yes. Boobs are a billion dollars, but you better sell that shit right, bitch. John Tyra walking in there like, you better know your worth, slut. You're a whore, ma'am. Treat yourself right. I would never get involved in an 18 and overnight, but tonight, 
I'm gonna let them run it and see what happens. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 18 and over. No, 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 no. That is such a fucking risk. That is such a risk. Because if these kids are anything like me, they got fake IDs from fucking China that is showing up in the, in the shoe. But it was a Pennsylvania ID and I was in Jersey. And it, it showed up, it, it showed up in a shoe. I'm saying all the crimes I used to do. Fuck, I got a shoe. <laughs> And in the, in, the, in the sole of the shoe, if you, if you cut it open, was the IDs. That's how we used to do it back in the, I don't fucking know, we just like, we just sent money out to people, it was like $300. 18 and overnights are such, such a risk. Even though I will say, I met my ex-girlfriend at an 18 and overnight in New Jersey, at a bar that is closed now, it was called KCO Tools. We made out. And then she asked me what my name was, and we, then we were together for like five years. It was a Jersey fairy tale. They're putting two black X's on the hands of those under 21, and pink wristbands on the wrists of those 21 and over. Now let's see if they can manage. Those wristbands are gonna be slid off in the bathroom, put on someone, like it's fucking Coachella. Do they think, are you kidding? Wristbands? And even if you do stamp, you know how much it's gonna slow a bartender down to have to worry about that shit? They're not gonna. And then you guys are gonna lose your fucking liquor license. This is stupid. I'm sending in a 23 year old who is of legal drinking age, and she's gonna say she's 18. They're gonna mark her as an 18 year old, and let's see if she can get a. What is. Oh, God. They got. It's like to catch a predator, but bartenders. They come up so easily. This is a joke. I'm sure girls do this all the time. And they're gone. What did I say? You. Like, it's. Do they think. Do they think once you become legal drinking age, you also gain the ability to think and scheme? What is this? Long Island. Shake it? No, I did not. You gotta shake it. One, two, three, four. Give me four new ones. Okay. You shake a Long Island? <laughs> Do you have a mixer gun? Like, what the hell's going on? I sh you shake? Mama. Mama. Mama out of here with that bullshit. Look, look how far these are filled up. It should not be that full. Okay. And when they grab the drink, you're already spilling it. Okay. It's all over your hands. Okay, okay. Are we complaining about how full it is? Is it a fucking Dixie cup? They sh- Who cares? Is it a di Who cares? Is it a Dixie cup? Like, what bar, what bar gives a shit? What's is it, a Dixie cup? That, yeah, that's how you know no one cares. It's like, what? 0.3 ounces difference? Get out of here. I'm pissed. Ten Budweiser's? Y'all just see that man who ordered ten Budweiser's? He's at least in his mid-40s. This is 18 and overnight. This place got problems. <laughs> Shut up. Who knows where those are going out? Of course. You know what I mean? You can't order bulk at 18 and over because he's just handing out to who Like you think if you're 18 and over now, let's bring one friend who's of legal drinking age to get us drinks. Does it doesn't work? Is it so stupid? Her friend just bought a cocktail and passed it to her. I want to see how long she keeps this cocktail before somebody. But see, that's not the bar's fault. It's this idea that this could even this wouldn't be able to work. Because with the idea of like, oh, well, technically, I served the right person. And then that person gave an underage person a drink. The place is still liable. So you know what this means? That the whole idea is dumb! <laughs> This this is this looks like my hell. It looks this this young crowd screaming, fighting, bumping chest, getting all nasty and ratchet. Like I wish I was young and fun like that, but I'm in my thirties now. This doesn't look fun. You know what looks fun? Sitting here, having a gargoyle vomit whiskey in my mouth. <laughs> Talking to you fine people over here on the internet. This looks like hell. Why any business would willingly do this? Because all it does is set you up for failure. So far, you're serving people underage. You're going to lose your liquor license. Some of you might go to jail. And now you're all fighting. So what is the purpose? Are you making it up on ticket sales? It's stupid. This is Jenna. 
Janice 23. I had her use a friend's ID tonight to get in. He's 18. She's been drinking his cocktail for how long? Uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. How many times did I ask you to walk through the room? Uh, I didn't see that. You blew it. You know, that is so unacceptable. But you know what pisses me off more? That she's had that drink for 45 minutes and it's not even half done. Ah, these kids are going crazy. Oh, I love, I love it. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to be there, but I'd love to see it because you know what? Oh! Nostalgia! Oh! They get the cheap liquor and they put it in here. Okay, so like the bottle. Yeah. Putting cheaper brands of alcohol into premium spirit bottles. That's the type of thing that gets your liquor license taken away and your bar shut. It's also the type of thing that happens all the time. And I warn you guys about, I do. A high-end place is less likely to do this. I used to work in shitholes. I used to work in the underground nasty places that used to get shut down roach infestation. And I'll tell you what, we used to put the cheap fucking vodka in the Grey Goose. <laughs> Cause you can't tell the difference cause Grey Goose is shit. So sometimes you're spending so much more money on literally bottom shelf alcohol. But when your boss is telling you to do it, you have to listen. That's why I tell you guys, know your environment, know your surroundings, not only for your own safety, but like, why are you ordering Belvedere at a pub? Like, what are you doing? If anything, stick middle shelf, cause they're least likely to rip you off that way. And even if they are, you're not getting ripped off as much. That's my advice. And I'm just being real and honest. Which one of you two, or is it both of you, are pouring cheap liquor into premium bottles? Neither one of them. Don't you bull me. Did you I've had two of your employees tell me that you did. I've seen the bottles. I've seen the Show bottles. Show me the bottles. I tasted the liquor. Neither one of me and him ever poured a cheap liquor bottle of Show me, show me. Wait, my question is, why did the bartender snitch? Like, you're on a TV show. Do you think you're gonna keep your job? You're, you're gonna lose your job. Why would you snitch? I Listen, it's wrong. I know the problem here is that it's wrong and it should never happen. Why I'm more focused on the fact that someone snitched is because I'm New Jersey and I have issues. But like, that's what I'm focusing on right now. Here's your funnel. No, we know it. A smart man knows when he's busted. We didn't tell these guys to put this in the liquor, didn't walk out of here and save your ass. Mr. Tuffy, this is your chance to come tell you. You want me to walk out of here too? And you better be straight with me. Okay, but the bartender that routed them out is standing right there, not saying shit. You were all loud. You were all loud five seconds ago, bitch. Speak up. Speak up! I don't know why I'm trying to fight her now. Like, she, she did the right thing, but like, I, uh, Have you ever known that bar brands went in a car brand bottle, ever? Yeah, I know. Only two bottles that we ever did, and I'll tell you the two bottles. I don't care if it's one bottle or a hundred bottles. You're a thief, and I- If you're gonna do crime, you can't, it, you gotta stick to your guns. I'm giving such bad advice. I'm giving such bad advice. Don't listen to anything that I'm saying right now because you all know the right thing. But regardless, if you're gonna do a fucking crime and you're saying you never did it, you better go to the de go to the coffin, stick into your fucking guns. Oh my god, I'm I'm, I'm getting so hyped up. Am I getting too masculine? Ow, my breath. There you go, I gate it up. You know what else is interesting? This place has a terrible reputation of serving minors. So we have to draw a good college student to this place and we have to draw women. So I got six sorority sisters. And this is the dream demographic for this. Oh, wait, are we calling out, are we calling out college bars for turning a blind eye to serving minors? Are you kidding? <laughs> It's wrong! It's wrong! What are we gonna pretend like, you know, then why, what is the point of having a college bar? Like what? Do you understand that when I was in a fraternity, I had to have to, how long ago is this? Cause statute of limitations. I'm just being honest, cause I don't give a shit. I don't do these things anymore, I would never. But like, when I was first started out, when I was, you guys know the shit I used to do. The shit I already told you guys that I used to do. Why the fuck would I tell you about this? My fraternity had me start working at a bar. The way I got started in the bar business 
was I was the bouncer. They made me be the bouncer, the guy who checked your ID at the door. To let in all the brothers. Like, to let in all the fraternity. Like, oh, Mike's gonna be out the door checking your ID. He's gonna get your ass right on in. Hey, yeah, yeah, what's up, my guy? What's up? Do the secret handshake. Get on in there. Get your, get your drink. I'm gonna fuck. I don't fucking care about this place. But I gave one of them a fake ID. Now, she is 21, and she does have a real ID with her. But I want to see if the doorman picks up the fake ID. Okay, so there's our girl. Do you understand that someone once gave me a, 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 what is it, what are the little cards that you write notes on for school? What is it called? I don't know. It's one of those little thing cards that you write on that had a smiley face and a fake date written in pencil put through a laminator machine. I let that motherfucker go right on it. <laughs> Thank you. There it goes. The fake ID just went in. Do you know what he's doing? He looks at it, but he's not reading it. No. He has no idea what name it says on that license or anything. The guy who looked at my ID looks like he just didn't really know what he was looking. Okay, listen, listen, listen. I've already said how I was a schemer, scammer, monster. However, the bar, the system that the bar enforced. Like, if I was actually doing my job, I didn't have to look at your name. I didn't have to look at the, the face. I was told, I was told that it, if it looked remotely like you and the date on the birthday matched up, I was told that it's not my job to know whether or not that it's fake. That's what I was told. That's what I was, I was trained that way. They literally trained me. If you guys want to yell at me all you want in the comments, go fucking ahead. But I was trained. By telling me it's not your job to know whether or not it's fake. If it says the right date, then let them in. It was completely my job to know whether or not it was fake. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I'm not here to tell you the right thing to do because you all have common sense and you all know. I'm just here talking about the reality of the bullshit. What's up, ladies? Hey. Do you guys have a, a menu? Yeah. Like a bar menu? Like a my research shows that when guests eat something in a bar, they'll stay 52 minutes longer. Yes, but it is a college bar. I don't want you eating. I'm about to have this place packed, and I'm gonna make so much more money if you're not sitting at my bar fucking eating. Get out of here. A group of young girls ask me, can I have something sweet? Can I see the fucking menu? Is my fucking nightmare. Get out. <laughs> Smoking is legal here. But you know what's interesting is only about 23% of college students smoke. Really? So the fact is about 70. That's because they're lying! That is because they're lying! <laughs> you know what? The statistic also says that the average American has two drinks a weekend. Let's think about that for a second, okay? Why are we lying in America? I've been drinking since like four. So bored right now. So easy to get them to drink. All we had to do was ask for shots and smile at them. Bam, bam, shot. These fucking ungrateful bitches. It's telling you they got them. You, you probably got some free shots because of that. The fuck, this is why you don't trust bitches. And as men, women, I'm, this is not a derogatory turn towards a female. That is towards any person. Anyone could be a bitch. I don't trust you. You ain't gonna scheme me unless I want you to scheme me because I'm actually scheming you. It's manipulation, okay? That's gaslighting. I remember a girl ordered nine lemon drop shots once, and when I told her it was gonna be like 90 something bucks, she looked at her friend, smirked, and then put her tits on the table and said, what is it? And then I told her, you know what? Now it's 150 bucks because you pissed me off, honey. Taking another shot. I can't believe what I'm watching. Within 20 minutes, this bartender had four shots, and it's only 9.30. It isn't just irresponsible. They could lose their liquor license. You better get lit. You better get lit. I would start my shift at 8 p.m., and I would have to work till 5 in the morning. You better believe that I was getting blitzed. It wasn't just alcohol that I was doing. Mama, I was wild. But you know what? It made me a better bartender. If I was sober, I probably would have been a much more miserable and much less attentive. I would have been much more healthy, and that is besides the point. Man, how you doing? How many shots have you had tonight, man? Seven or eight. So, let me ask you a question. Do you think a drunk employee can be effective ever? Not all time. Yes. Yeah. 
Yes! Here's the thing. If you get too drunk, you get sent home. If you can't handle your liquor and you don't know what you're doing, you shouldn't be a bartender and you get sent home. That being said, it is illegal and you shouldn't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. You have something to say? Not yet. I look at these guys, they're not just staff and my co-employees kind of thing. These are my friends. I mean, we've been friends since high school. There's an understanding there between us that, hey, John, Darian, get the f up. Next time you ever drink in this place, I'm gonna fire you and love it. You take one shot, you're gone. I sent six girls in here tonight. Do you understand that, but hold on. First of all, you asked him to be there. So like, calm down, macho man. But also, all you have to do is lie and pretend while he's there and then he'll leave and then you go back to doing your shit. What is this on t Just stop. I let Lindsay Lohan yell at me. Just shut up, you have a camera. Do you know what I actually would have said in that situation if I didn't have eight cameras on me? Are you out of your damn mind? You guys think, you guys think if you, for anyone who has seen me on TV that that's bad? Do you know what it would have been like if there was no camera? I'm sorry. But here's last month's bank statements. I'm really disgusted when I see the real numbers now. What are these expenses? Rental car, rental car, cafe, golf clubs, golf clubs, golf clubs. John, that's golf clubs. One month. Golf clubs. One month. I don't take a paycheck. She doesn't take a paycheck in four years. Golf tees, golf country club. Listen, I will let you get away with a lot of things. I will, I will stand here and say, you know what? Steal a lunch. You know what? Take a little extra 20. All wrong. All crimes. Bitch, you going to golf clubs? The fuck? You want to sit here and tell me that you ain't getting a paycheck? You can't live? You going to golf clubs, mama? That's like me trying to sit here and validate going to Sunday brunch and saying, but I don't get a monthly paycheck. How am I gonna? I'm going to brunch. The fuck you mean? That's embezzled. You can look at when what? you run personal expenses to a company I don't take a and pay. don't tell your partners. No, that's Fraud, Scott. To see if, if you agree to a paycheck, your partners know that. When you do this, they don't. That's what no, because you should get a paycheck. But when you're embezzle, 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 when you do shit like that, it completely negates the argument. You're not using that money to live and buy food for your babies. You're going to go. That's insane. You robbed the bank and you didn't get away with it. This is the most incriminating set of information against a manager I have ever seen. Oh, God. How do I live? How am I supposed to live? Are you that much of a You're going to go! You're going to go! You're not buying groceries. You're not buying an inhaler because we don't got health insurance. You're going to fucking go and you left a paper trail, you idiot. The fuck? How do you live? Bailey, you're getting money from somewhere. Where? From the business. So you are getting paid then, aren't you? No, I'm not getting paid. Oh getting paid is getting a paycheck. I, I, I use some money. Look, John, if you add that up, that doesn't even come to $3,000 a month for two people working 70 hours a week. But you have time to go to a country club for dinner? No, because you can't use an argument because you're not using the money for the thing you're saying that you need it for. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Yeah, but look how skinny I look! Skinny? I was so skinny. I'm drunk. <laughs> you are a clown, okay? Just shut up. Just hold right? your bezeler. You're a minority owner in this business. You don't have the right to take a dollar without their approval. And the fact that you're spending their money and acting like a big shot doesn't only make you a failure, it makes you a complete jerk. And it makes you an idiot. Because what did I say earlier? I'm not mad at you because you did it. I'm mad at you because you were dumb enough to get caught. You used their company card, a paper trail, for embezzling. Are you what? This is silly in me is pissed. I want you to pack your bags and go home. Just leave. We'll clean up this mess. And if there's ever any money after we deduct what you stole, maybe we'll send you a check. No, I want I want this part to work, no matter what. We have passion and love for this place. This man is love losing me. money every week. We left you a good bar, and you guys ran into the ground. What a piece of you are. You gotta humble up. For you to sit here and blame it on other people is not reasonable. Because you were here every day to see the room empty. There's nothing to talk about to even go one step. He was caught and he caught this shit.
<laughs> I love the drama and the conflama. I can't believe you're so stupid. Wow, that's insane. I'm wowy caboodles. I'm drunk. I'm drunk as hell. And even I know that that's dumb. Honestly, I think that's a great place for us to fucking knock it off. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. What is the stupidest thing you think you saw in this video? Did you agree with me on anything? Did you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments. I want to personally thank everybody over on Patreon and everybody that switched over to memberships here on this channel, especially the regulars and barflies. We're going to be shooting out something fun in a few days. It's going to be fun. We're going to be doing some fun membership stuff. This was fun. I had a good time. And please remember to take Take everything I say with a grain of salt. I'm telling you guys what really is going on, not necessarily what the right thing to do is. Just because I say I've done some of this shit, doesn't mean that you should. Or that it's right, like it was, it was bad, it's wrong, but I'm just confirming that it does happen. Hopefully it changes and it's a better system for everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and click the bell to be notified every time I make a new video. And if that's it guys! My name is Malcolm GTV and you are fucking welcome. Goodbye.